So let me ask you, going back to the power play with what happened with Gustavo, do you think, uh, like, pre-Gustavo, post-Gustavo getting killed, who was Pablo pre, who was Pablo post? Meaning, did he lose a lot of his confidence after Gustavo was gone? Gustavo Gaviria was surrounded. Come up with your hands up. Comes out with a machine gun. We wanted him alive because we wanted him in the United States because of all the, this guy had the connections all over the world, but he chose to come out uh, fighting. It was difficult for Pablo to get, but you know, he got organized, but one thing like, and he never forgave for the killing of his cousin. Remember, they were brothers. They were more than brothers. They were always together. And Gustavo was, I think, more of the calm, the common sense type guy, Pablo. What's the famous line? You're spending too much money or you're making too yeah. much money? And he tells you just to launder more money. This is in Narcos. He tells you to launder more money. He said, you know, we can't. And he said, he, isn't that what Al well, Capone did? Well, yeah, he said, isn't that what Al Capone did? <laughs> and Gustavo said, great line. Al Capone never had this much money. money yeah. <laughs> that is a great line, you know. But it was that type. Gustavo was always the common, the, the grounding Pablo. Pablo, you know, calm down, calm down. And I remember stories where the other traffickers, the Ochoas, would say, Pablo, and you know, and the Ochoas are an interesting phenomenon. They were different, they were already rich, but they liked, you know, selling dope. But basically, don't kill, you know, important people. You know, they would try to tell them, this is gonna cost us, you know, uh, for them to come after us, and, and they were right. That's what cost them to come after Pablo Escobar. You know what, and you're talking about, you know, Pablo Escobar's ego, that power, I remember, and this is, wow, this is a great example. We took one, of, during one of the raids, we took one of the cars, and it belonged to his sister. So we took the, sis, the car in the dashboard, and I have a copy of that note. It basically, there was a note that says, if you're thinking of stealing this car, do not. This is Pablo Escobar, and this car belongs to my sister. Avoid problems. <laughs> Ain't that great life insurance? Did it Pablo really have it on? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw it. It's it's written and signed by Pablo Escobar. Avoid problems. You know, that's the best insurance a car could ever have. I mean, you see that name right there. People probably felt safer if they had him as a backing. So if you saw a name there, nobody wanted to mess with him across. Nah, nah.